are you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Now it's your girl Eniola for E28 Fashion School. Okay, so um, today we are looking at how to make the pattern or how to make um, this wonderful looking dress or a top or whatever you want to call it but most importantly we are just focusing on the sleeve man the sleeve is so unique now i want to let you know that the sleeve is actually draped okay it is draped <laughs> it is draped on the dress okay but then i'm going to show you how to combine your flat pattern with draping so you're going to do the last part is going to be where you will drape okay so i'm going to show you all of that okay so let us get to work okay all right now I have my pattern I have my front front body sloper and then I also have my sleeve okay and then the back I'm not focusing on the back just the front and the sleeve now I expect you to know um, to be an advanced um, fashion designer for you to get this okay all right guys now this bodies i have transferred the shoulder that down to the waist okay so the next thing i want to do so let me just keep this somewhere okay and zoom on the sleeve okay so that we can all see where we're going okay okay so i'll take this the first thing i want to do is to draw my neckline okay now the what kind of neckline is that that's a v-neck okay just draw it maybe a curved v-neck a straight v-neck whatever v-neck you do and if you want to contour fine fantastic you can also contour okay so you determine the width and also the depth all right so i'm going to use this okay i'm just going to use this okay so this is what i'm using okay so can you see my line okay so this is my neckline right so what i want to do next is just to cut all right I'm just going to cut this okay I don't need this anymore all right now note that the front the bodice is not cut on fold no this is not cut on fold okay so what I'll do next is you can turn it is a princess I'm a princess um, star line that yeah I'm a princess star line that so you can decide to turn this also into I'm a princess star line that but I'm actually just leaving it this way for just for the tutorial sake all right so now let's go to the main main work okay which is making the sleeve okay so what you want to do is from your top line of your sleeve you want to come down somewhere above your elbow okay so if my elbow is here I'll go above my elbow and then I will draw a line like so okay can you see it okay all right so i'll draw this line all right so the next thing i want to do is from my from my um center line of my sleeve i will draw a line yeah i'll just follow my center line of my sleeve really okay so what i will do next is from my top line i'm going to um slash from my top line i'm going to slash like so and then I'm going to come over this way okay so can you see it all right so the next one also I'll do the same thing here okay so now I have slashed it this way okay can you see it can you see it all right so the next thing I want to do is I want to open here as wide as I can like as wide as I want now the the more you open it the more pleats you have here okay the more you open it this way the more pleats you have here okay the more you open it the more pleats you have okay Re so remember that this is my arm's eye or the arm hole as some people call it or the armpit <laughs> no it's not the armpit <laughs> okay the, either the arm's eye arm sec or arm hole okay <laughs> so Take note of the shape, okay? Take note of it, okay? So I'm going to take another paper, all right? And then I'll place this on top. Remember, you're going to open it as wide as you want, okay? Okay? I'm going to mask it down. I'll tape it down, all right? So the next thing I want to do from the tip of my... Let me show you because I don't think you, you can see it. Can you see? Can you see? This is my, this is my arm side, my arm sec 
or they have O, right? And this is the point that I cut. This is the center line, right? Now, from this center line, I'll draw a straight line upward, okay? I'll draw a straight line upward, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a straight line upward, all right? Okay? And then I'll do the same thing here. Okay? So, I don't know if you can see it. Okay? Okay? Now, please note that from your center, from your top line, okay your center top line of your arm side at the top okay you want to come up when i'm done the next thing i will do is So what I'm following here is just what I'm following here is just my normal the sleeve, okay? The um, the paper on the net and also the pattern I place on top of this. The, my initial bodies, uh, my initial sleeve sleeve, okay? So this is what I have, okay? Okay, now for the sleeve, this is what I have now. Okay, this is what I have now. Okay, this is my top line. See, okay, this is my top line. All right. So now that I have this, the next thing I want to do is to cut. So I'll just place this on my fabric, and then I will cut it out. Okay. All right. So let's do it. So when you get, please add your sewing allowance. I'm not adding sewing allowance here, okay? So add your sewing allowance, okay? Okay, so I have cut out my pattern, okay, and I will also cut out the pattern for the bodies, okay. So when I'm about to drape this, I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. So... Now, at this point, you should have um, sewn back to front, okay, at the side and the shoulder, okay, and then you bring the bodies, you place it on your mannequin, okay, and then, um, okay, after sewing it, okay, you sew your sleeve, okay, you sew your under underarm, alright, so I'm just going to pin this underarm, I'm not going to sew it, okay, the underarm, I'm just going to pin it. So this is my underarm, okay, sewn to this. Now from here to here is my arm side, okay, also my arm sec, okay, so I'm going to sew it into my bodice, okay, so you sew it front to back and then you sew it anywhere it stops here, that notch, remember the notch I told you about, anywhere it stops here you leave it, okay, so I'm going to just pin this, alright, so it will look as if I sew it, okay. Alright, so the excess that you have, this is it, okay? So you will, so here I have pinned it around, okay? I've pinned it around my mannequin, alright? Now, it's just like you sewing it, okay? So the next thing I want to do is to drape and then to fold and then cut it, okay? So just watch the way I fold it, okay? So you just want to pick, just want to pick here, okay? Can you see it? Like so, you want to pick it. And then depend on how fitted like this okay depend on how fitted you want the sleeve can you see it's a bit fits okay this side depend on how you want it to be okay depend on how you want it to be you can you can even draw it as much as you want okay but um, but it will be better if you have the you have a, a sleeve 
a sleeved mannequin okay that will help you to uh, maneuver it okay but just to be on the safe side don't make it too tight okay so that it doesn't get too tight on the person okay and then you can just use your hand just to see how the bicep or the sleeve the sleeve um, width is okay so you just put your hand to see how for me this should be the width of the sleeve yeah this this should be the width okay so when I'm satisfied okay I will pin it all right and then i'll take another part okay hold on okay i want to uh, reduce it okay i'll pin it okay and then i'll pleat it the other way okay i'll pleat it the other way and then i'll pin it also and then I'll pleat another one, okay. And also, I'm going to pleat, okay, okay, like so. And then we have the beads at the top, at the top part. We have a bit at the top part, okay. So um, here now, remember the back too. It can be a v-necked also or a round neck okay so you have to put this also this will follow this the sleeve this will follow the the shape of the back also just like the way we are following this okay so you put this okay you put this at the back okay here at the top you have a small pleats okay Complete it and then the rest here you try to make it to enter the back and uh, to follow the back shape okay it's not necessary it has to be to the back okay it's just perfect it's perfect this way okay so um, I'm going to adjust this because there's a bit uh, puff here okay so I'm just going to adjust it a bit all right so here we are okay so the next thing I want to do is to cut now you want to cut it to the length or to this edge of your bodies okay so I'm going to cut it now okay and then you follow the back also okay okay so voila this is our sleeve so you can see the sleeve it came out so lovely so you can see the sleeve okay it came out so so lovely so can you see it okay so can you see it now the back the sleeve can just stop anywhere at the neck the back neckline really that excess can stop anywhere at the back it's not necessary it goes to the end you know you can just stop somewhere here okay so here we are okay so guys if you find this video interesting and you've learned something from it kindly subscribe okay and uh, help my my youtube channel to to my permanent site <laughs> okay guys so please um share like subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions please leave it okay now i love this can you see it can you see the effect okay so normally you shouldn't finish this neckline okay don't finish this neckline all right so what you do is um when you are done with this you use your hand thread um your hand needle to tack this remove every up all of the pins okay and go back to your machine to finish up okay this is lovely okay this is lovely okay so tell me guys what do you think tell me what you what you think in the comment section okay all right guys Bye.